During the height of the pandemic, many hospitals restricted elective surgeries and lots of people put off procedures. But now patients are returning for treatments of conditions. And joining us today is Dr. Jill Putnam of the Bone and Joint Institute at Hartford Hospital to talk about one of the more common hand ailments that she treats. It's called trigger finger, and it's more common than you might think. Doctor, welcome. Hi, thank you so much. So tell us, what is trigger finger? Well, just like you said, trigger finger does tend to be something that people delay seeking treatment for, and that's especially true these days. But as people are returning to doctors, we're seeing a surge of trigger finger and similar, um, what you would say, elective problems to take care of um, in our clinic. So basically, trigger finger is caused by inflammation around the tendon, where the tendons run underneath a band inside the palm. And often there's no particular cause for trigger finger, but we have identified a few risk factors for it. And those include diabetes, thyroid problems, and performing repetitive activities with your hands. Tell us about some of the symptoms that patients come to you with. So symptoms can vary a lot. Very early in its presentation, it could just be a soreness that patients feel in their palm. Uh, but over time, people can develop the actual triggering of the finger when the finger actually gets stuck down in the palm. Over time, people start stop using their fingers as often, and it might present as just a stiff finger. All right, talk about some of the treatment options that you provide for trigger finger. Sure, so bracing is the simplest thing you can do. Essentially, tape the finger to the other finger to prevent it from getting stuck, but that's rarely a cure. Um, steroid injections can be a cure. We do those in the office. About 50% of people experience a cure with one or more steroid injections. And then for other people, we end up talking about surgery, and, and that can be the cure. Um, surgery is a simple outpatient procedure. It takes about 10 minutes. I usually tell people to treat the surgery like a really bad paper cut. Uh, basically, what we do in surgery is we just cut that tight band in the palm. Tell us about the recovery time from that uh, surgery. Yeah, so recovery is, is very quick. Most people go back to doing everything like typing, texting, driving right away. Um, I tell them the rule of threes to keep dressings on for three days. And then in three weeks, they're back to doing everything, including heavy lifting activities. Yeah, we've got to be able to text. All right, what is, right. Can, can trigger finger return? Very rarely, um, but it can occur in the neighboring fingers. So just like if you had a risk factor for one finger, you may have risk factors for the others. All right, and we want to tell people where they can learn more. The Bone and Joint Institute org. It's part of Hartford Healthcare. And doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it, Doctor Jill Putnam. Thank you.